Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to list a Go Imagine digital listing, and we're going to put that in the shop that I'm using for demos. And it's not that hard. So let's go on over there and I will show you what you need to do to do that. So here we are in the Go Imagine dashboard, and this is the beta dashboard I'm using. This one, because the old one, you might have to flip back and forth, but I want to use the beta one so that this is uh, current longer because they might get rid of the old one at some point. So you want to go to products, product catalog, and add a new product. Now I have all of these already kind of set up so that these, these are digital listings. I do have to go in and change the photos because I realize that it has my Etsy shop name on there. That's not what I'm calling this shop. Um, but I'm, I'm just going to go in and duplicate this if I was actually going to do it, but I'm going to set this up for, you know, from the beginning and to duplicate it, you would go in, well, first you have to click this and then you want to click clone, put the new title in. I'll just put title. And we're going to click create. And what this is going to do, it's going to show, ooh, look, they've changed it. It had clone on there, I think, unless that was in the old dashboard. Um, but you just want to go through and make sure all the information is correct. You want to upload the correct file. So this is a lot easier than actually having to go in and redo it. But I'm going to go back over here and just go to the product catalog. And let's get rid of this one. That's the old, that's the clone. Um, so if you can clone things, go ahead. You, you do need to go in and make sure that the URL for the new listing is correct. And I'll show you that when we get into this, but let's start from scratch, add new product. And this is dollhouse digital wallpaper with blue and teal flowers. Okay, so that's, oops, except you want to spell things correctly. I can't type. So once everything's in there and it's spelled correctly, you're fine. Okay, now you're going to look for a category and I'm just going to type in dollhouse to see what comes up. Dollhouse miniatures, close enough. Okay, search categories. I have some categories set up and it's dollhouse printables and I did that in a different video. Now, I'm not going to fill out the whole description right now. You just basically want to fill out a description that um, tells people what they're getting, the specifics about it. I'm not going to worry about misspellings and that kind of thing right now. And you want to go down here, do digital, and then you're going to add the file. So you want to fill out the title of the file, whatever the name is. So I think it's teal daisies. I don't know. Printable. So you're going to click, click file here, and it's going to let you select the file that you're going to upload. I have navigated to the file. Here it is. Let's open that up. That's it. So this is the file with the thing in it. This is the actual download. So I'm going to do that. And these are listing photos. So I'm going to put those in the listing photos in a minute. Deliver mode immediately. If you want to limit downloads for people, you can do that here. If you want to give them three downloads and then they can't get it anymore, then that's okay. I personally am not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave it blank because I don't care. You know, if somebody bought it, they might change computers. They might have their computer wiped out. They might lose the file. And then you're going to have to deal with that. But if they bought the file, then you need to send it to them. So that's all right. Agreement required, yes or no. I assume that this is for a commercial use, right? So I'm just going to put no. If you click yes, I'm assuming that they have to agree to the license. I'm not sure. I'll leave that there just to see what happens. And then you fill out the license agreement here. So for me, I use commercial use is fine for physical products. You can't sell the digital file in any form. And make sure that you spell things correctly, because like I said, I can't type. Okay, about this file, um, I don't, I don't know, you know, what that says. But I'm just going to click Create here. Active. I want this to be active. If you're not sure, then you can put hidden so that you can check how it looks, you know, beforehand and just change everything. Tags. I'm just going to put Dollhouse wallpaper. Let's click Add. Um, I'm just going to let's see, digital dollhouse. Um, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. And I might go back and add some more things later, but I don't care. Product photos. Let's see. Open that one. I know it, it brought them in. Okay. And then we're going to do another one. So it brought that one. Let's do this one. Okay. And I do want to move that there. That's the thumbnail. That looks good. Two bucks, whatever. Quantity. 
I'm just going to put 99 because I don't care. I fully don't expect to sell anything. This is this is a very weird shop for me, and I'm using it for a specific purpose, which I'm not going to get into, but there you go. Okay, so this says to track the inventory. I don't really need to track the inventory because this is digital. So we're just going to put unlimited and do not track, and that way it's never going to sell out. So now I can just put 10, right? And it's never going to sell out. And that's fine. I, I'm not going to track it. It's digital. I don't need to track it. So that's perfect. If you have a SKU, you can put that in here. I don't, a SKU is a stock keeping unit, which is generally a number or a series of numbers and letters that you assign to each item so that you can keep track of it in your own system. But it's not necessary for customers. How it's made, um, you do want to fill this out because it does help customers know that you did this. So I designed this wallpaper for... A 112 scale dollhouse. Okay, and you could go and put a lot more in there. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, options to your product like color, size, or requested. This is a digital download, so there's no options right now. Shipping, it's always going to be free shipping. I don't know that you need to check this, but I will. It's digital, so there's no shipping involved. Okay, advanced features, SEO, page title. I'm not going to do any of this. It's going to pull this from the description of the product, and I'm not worried about it. This is really for Google, and Google doesn't really use meta descriptions anymore because it's smarter than that. This is when Google needed help to figure out what your listings were and what the page was about. It doesn't really need that anymore, so I'm not going to worry about that. If you want to do quantity discounts, you can do that here. Let's add a discount. So if you buy five or more, you get a dollar off, I guess percentage off. Yeah. So if, if we do like a percentage off, you can get 20% off if you buy five or more. It's digital. So there's absolutely no reason for that. And we are not going to do the discount. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. And optional settings, what's in there? I don't see anything in there. So they might be keeping that for, <laughs> for future use. I'm not sure. Um, but as long as you have the file set up, you've got everything filled out, you should be able to just publish this and it will be done. And, you know, I'm going to come back later and fill all this stuff out. So, but let's click save to save the listing. And then I will go and find my shop and see if it's actually showing up. So it's showing up in the listings here. Let me go to my actual shop to see if it's there. And it is. Okay. So it's in my shop. Should be fine. It'll be found in search eventually. It says, does this say with daisies? Let me click on this and see what the title is. No, it just says flowers. Okay, dollhouse digital wallpaper with blue and teal flowers. Okay, that'll work. And apparently they're purple. So I need to go and change that. So there is a little work that I need to do on this listing. I need to go and change the title. I'll do that right now. But the file is uploaded and everything is okay in there. And that's it. So it's not that hard to list a digital item. And if you have any questions, post them. I'll try to answer them. And I will talk to you later.